and today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble and reassemble an American padlock series 700 uh, this kind of padlock is very strong also and uh, what we need is a key for it so we have to open up the shackle and then on this uh, hole here inside uh, there is a retaining screw uh, which is being held by this uh, uh, protective uh, uh, nut here so we will have to take out that screw okay now what is taken out is first the nut and then the screw here all right and the armor plate and the cylinder so uh, in order to remove uh, the parts for repair we have to depress this uh, shackle here so, uh, so that uh, it's easy to remove the parts inside uh, and I made this kind of uh, compressor uh, compression uh, device which I could easily just put it uh, and down there and uh, depress it and tighten the, the nut on it and so it is in place uh, so after that we can remove now the parts easily from inside we'll pry this down you see it's coming out easy because uh, there is no pressure because we already had uh, compressed the shackle so it drops down now and also the two ball bearings Now, after we had uh, uh, disassembled all the parts on this padlock, except for the shackle of course, now uh, we can rekey this kind of uh, cylinder and now this kind of cylinder, there are cylinders for American padlock which you can rekey it without removing the core itself from the core housing by turning it 180 degrees and then there you go the the pin is just uh, coming out from the bottom hole of this uh, 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 core here so you can easily repin it by the new key on this position however there are some uh, uh, kind of cores which you cannot turn it 180 degrees so that uh, you can take it out from the bottom because of this uh, s uh, small pin here which uh, uh, installed by the manufacturer so all you, you can only do is you can turn it only 45 degrees so in order to rekey it from this uh, bottom hole here all you have to do is either uh, uh, remove this pin by uh, piling and uh, after that uh, you can uh, rekey it and uh, actually you don't need to reinstall it back as long as you are careful that you don't turn it 180 degrees again so th and the uh, pin will drop here but when it is installed in a padlock you cannot turn it 180 degrees only 45 degrees so it's okay if you remove it and not to return it right so let's uh, proceed up there let's say we had uh, rekey this uh, padlock so it's time for us to return it back now all right so because uh, this padlock uh, is uh, already compressed the shackle is uh, compressed already so we don't have to worry about that so all we have to do is put the uh, return back the uh, ball bearings and uh, as I said always dip it a little and uh, grease so that it will stick on the side and it will not move anywhere when uh, you are uh, moving the padlock around so what you have to do is now position it inside see 
so it's now in its position as you can see you cannot even see the bull bearings because it's they are already inside so uh, in this main mechanism again there is a slot on this side in which there is uh, it, there is a place he has to go into in that uh, bottom of that padlock so all you have to do is look for that slot and drop this down there and push it a little and it will find its way because uh, the the padlock shackle is uh, depressed now you can install the new a new Ricky uh, cylinder and then put the armor plate on uh, well, uh, we'll have to take it out from the compressor uh, device first now put the plate on uh, put the retaining uh, not and uh, now it's time to open it up on the other side so we'll put it on this side use the key open it up now put the screw on the top here tighten it up okay return it back return the shackle back and try the key so that's all folks and thanks for watching